Hi, Mark Bunting here. Welcome to another edition of Tech Talk, here exclusively on United Airlines in-flight entertainment. I hope you're having a great flight. Well, we have got some terrific technology in store for you today, as well as some sights and sounds from the Victory Park area of Dallas, Texas, and the Hot New W Hotel. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter what size computing device you carry, you're gonna appreciate today's show. We'll be looking at notebooks, their smaller cousin, the netbook, and even some great applications for your iPhone. Lastly, if you'd like to have access to over 270,000 books and magazines in literally seconds, you must see our first look at the new Kindle 2 digital reader from Amazon. We've got all of this and much, much more on this edition of Tech Talk. Netbooks are the lighter weight, generally less powerful notebook computers that have been all the rage recently. The challenge for those of us who are actually trying to run our businesses, particularly on the road, is that we run more sophisticated applications than these small units can at times power. Well, if you'd like to have the convenience and the stylish design of some of these smaller PCs, but you need near notebook PC power base to run your apps, take a look at this one. With the Sony Vio P-Series Lifestyle PC, you get a 1.4 pound machine that is only as thick as a deck of cards. So it's very easy to carry and to use. You can see immediately that they've really incorporated high tech with high fashion in an eye-popping design that is also available in four colors, including this red. It also features a convenient one button quick boot option, which gives the Lifestyle PC fast access to the web, email, photos, and more. You also get a complete built-in GPS solution. So, let's say you're looking for that Italian restaurant your friends have been talking about. Well, the new Lifestyle PC delivers real-time GPS functionality featuring detailed maps from Microsoft Streets and Trips software. And you don't even need an internet connection. Just step outside and type in where you want to go. You'll get turn-by-turn -turn directions displayed right on the map. It's that simple. The Lifestyle PC also features a built-in MotionEye webcam and microphone that lets you quickly snap photos and video chat with friends and family. The instant-on ultra-bright 8-inch LCD backlit screen means you don't have to wait for it to warm up. Plus, its extra-wide 1600 by 768 resolution easily displays the width of an entire page, putting an end to side-by-side -side scrolling that can slow you down, like on smaller displays. You know, at about $900, this notebook is more expensive than the aptly titled netbook PCs. However, you get obvious advantages in terms of its styling, its convenience, and it's much closer to a full functioning notebook computer. I really like this Sony Vio P. You know, with almost 20 million of us now using an Apple iPhone or an iTouch, and over a billion applications downloaded on the Apple App Store, I thought it'd be a great time to show you some applications to help you stay connected, whether you're at home or on the road. First off, whoever said currency conversion had to be boring, ugly, and difficult? Currencies let you convert money with style and ease. You can now convert any of 75 currencies in seconds. Your settings app allows you to set refresh rates at specific intervals or simply shake to refresh on the fly. You can also use the reorder currency list to display currencies in your desired order. Scrambling for a calculator or simply rounding up when the math gets to be more than your brain can handle is a headache and a waste of the past with currencies. You know, regular exercise is essential for both becoming and staying fit. But experts recommend that you regularly change your routine so that your body doesn't become accustomed to the same old exercise and to keep it interesting and enjoyable. iFitness provides images of people performing over 160 exercises sorted by body region or the exact muscle targets. Simply choose an area of the body, tap on a selection, and you're presented with a picture of the exercise. Double tap to flip the image and reveal clearly worded instructions on the back with step-by-step -step directions. There's a terrific logging feature to record and track your progress. You can also add your own exercises to your routine, have your workout logs emailed to yourself, and take advantage of nine preset routines like weight loss, strength, ab definition, and more. There's also a stopwatch and timer to track your resting time between sets. 
I was making some plans for my family's vacation this summer, and I decided to check out a new application called Places. Places is a virtual tour guide of sorts. It contains a lot of helpful information about some of the world's most popular destinations. In addition to its own collection of data, it also contains quick links to Wikipedia, your stored favorites, and maps. Now, while I really like the format of Places, it really is a work in progress. While they cover many destinations in their library, it falls very short of being the comprehensive virtual tour guide as advertised. If you're trying to find an app for travel or destination information, I wouldn't recommend Places unless you're headed to one of the few dozen places they have covered thus far. There are many other travel assistants, and most of those are either area or city specific, and they'll give you much more useful information. The Kindle 2 is Amazon's long-awaited update to their groundbreaking digital reading device. Think iPod for books and magazines. Now, while the Kindle 1 got a lot of bad press and its flaws were well acknowledged, Kindle 2 is generating iPod-like enthusiasm. If you like to read anywhere, anytime, you will love the Kindle. It's slim at just over a third of an inch. Now, that's as thin as most magazines. It's also lightweight. At 10.2 ounces, it's even lighter than a typical paperback book. Because it's wireless, the 3G connection lets you download books right to your Kindle anytime, anywhere. No monthly fees, no service plans, or hunting for Wi-Fi hotspots. Most books download in under 60 seconds, and there's no PC required. They've also improved the display. It truly reads like real paper. The Kindle now boasts 16 shades of gray for clear text and even crisper images. They also enhance the battery life by 25%, so you can literally read for days without recharging. You can also take your library with you with storage for over 1,500 books. Some of the other new advances I loved included 20% faster page turns. This was a real issue with the previous model. There's also a new text-to-speech feature. Kindle can read every newspaper, magazine, blog, and book out loud to you, unless the book audio rights have been disabled by the rights holder. Amazon now has over 270,000 books, plus U.S. and international newspapers, magazines, and blogs available. You can also find low book prices on New York Times bestsellers and new releases at $9.99, unless marked otherwise. Now, I quickly downloaded a copy of Pride and Prejudice, free of charge, public domain, and a subscription to Forbes magazine, and I was out here reading in a matter of minutes. Now, the new Kindle 2 is priced the same as the old Kindle, at around $360. Muscle cars like this one truly reigned supreme in the 1960s NASCAR racing scene. However, today the technology is a bit more sophisticated. Hendrix Motorsports, with 25 years of racing heritage, has become one of NASCAR's premier organizations. Not surprisingly, when we went to visit them in Charlotte, North Carolina, we found that technology, namely notebook computers, play a real role in their success. Hendrix Motorsports started out as a small shop in 1984. In 2001, they had about 200 employees, and now they employ well over 500. In 25 years of existence, they've won eight cup championships, including the celebration of their third consecutive series title in 2008. Back in 2004, when we have a lot of issues with the current laptops we were using, we started researching a rugged laptop and came across Panasonic Toughbook. You know, NASCAR environment, uh, I mean, it's a very uh, rugged culture. I mean, you got a lot of shock, you got a lot of vibration, a lot of dirt, grease. And the Panasonic Toughbook, say, uh, it's built for that. Through testing and analyzation of data, Hendrix Motorsports is constantly trying to improve their race cars. Having the right tools in place to gather and interpret all that information is key to their success. At the track, we collect up to uh, 40, 45, maybe 50 channels of data, all downloaded to the tough book. Uh, we bring that data back to the laboratory environment. We're able to basically reproduce the aerodynamic and inertial forces that the car saw on the racetrack. So the laptops really help us tie the track and the development environment together. Constructing a championship caliber car is a complicated process. In the shop, building the frame or chassis to body fabrication, to what's known as plumbing the car, which includes wiring for all of the complex electrical accessories and brakes, to finally putting it all together with the suspension and proper setup, it takes a lot of work to get the car ready for the racetrack. 
The tough book technology is a big advantage in an environment like here where you have very dusty conditions. You have to have a rugged machine that is ready to go whenever you need it. So uh, engineers use the CAD to design the part and then we take the CAD data and we pull it into our CAM files. And with the Panasonic tough books, we can take them here at the machine and program it while we're running the machine so it makes us more efficient. They hold up against all the uh, oils, the metal chips, and the grinding dust that we have in this shop. Here at Motorsports, we are so confident in the Panasonic Tough Book line. From a rugged standpoint, you can't beat the Panasonic Tough Book. Well, that about does it for this episode of Tech Talk. As always, if you'd like to get more information on anything that you saw on the show, or you got a great story idea, please visit me on the web at the address you see on your screen. Well, until next time, for Tech Talk and United Airlines, this is your host, Mark Bunting. Have a great flight, and I'll see you soon. First, the web, the latest and greatest, Bunting's window.